your shirt rich broke. Yeah. And you talk about, you said, you know what's worse than being broke? Being famous and broke. For can real. you can you explain what that is? <sighs> Shit, social media. <laughs> Most of them of us on there. But no, I mean, it what made me say that was because I remember it, it it I saw when I first moved to Atlanta, I'm not gonna say who it was, but right. It was a comedian I looked up to, I watched or whatever, and I saw him on the bus and it, it made me real like, damn, I don't wanna be like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and inspired me to, to make sure I never have to lean on nobody. Even with this accident, I was like, dang, I hope I don't need nobody. You know what right. I'm saying? But I prepared myself back then. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't wanna be that guy that's famous. Cause not everybody know you broke. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's around you. Not that you should care, but it's like you wanna, you you can't even be who you are because you got they ain't, they don't care no more. Well, what about social media? Because mm -hmm. so because I, I look at social media sometimes and hell they got me thinking I'm broke. Yeah, they had me thinking. Man, we talk <laughs> about that all the time, man. They, they like, had me like, how much am I making? Like, and yeah, I'm looking around like, what, they, damn, what team you play? I ain't never seen you play. I'm man, like, I don't understand. There's some entrepreneurs, but man, damn. They, they be talking about my plane. I don't know if you've seen my little plane. Yeah, I saw it. Like yeah. they swear my plane. I'm like y'all, and they be looking at these big planes because what they perception is everything on this. They they don't understand the operation costs. I was like, bro, you can't afford that plane. No, you no. can rent it. Refs. But you can't afford that plane. Right. You can afford the plane I'm in. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the problem is you don't want to look like this right. in my plane. But I don't care because, because I see it for what it is. And that's even why I even got planes like that, to make people understand that in our culture, to give them education on aviation. Because we don't. The only thing we see is, is what they show on the gram. So I try to show something different. That's why I use my gram for to inspire and to try to show what we don't see as far as in our culture. How have you been able to be successful keep a large, a large portion of your money while trying to explain, like, look, I mean, you have nice things. You want to do, you like, I take my old lady on vacation, I take her out to eat, I buy a nice That's thing. That's what this rich, broke lifestyle but, is. But you have to understand now, you got to sustain this for mm -hmm. a long period of time. Now, I'm going to be able to tell jokes for another 20, 30 years. Yeah. But by the same token, you don't ever want to feel like, I got to, man, I got to, hey, I, I got to do this. this. Yeah, that's what, that's why I said that. That situation made me understand it early. You know what I'm saying? In my 20s, I saw it, and I was like, all right, I'm going to make sure I'm straight. I'm going to make sure I don't need nobody. So, all right, let me buy a house. Let me buy a house. Don't have to pay no payments on it. Boom, boom, boom. If somebody, nobody can't kick me out no more. Right. Boom. Get a car. Pay for it. They, I ain't got to worry. It's the perfect example, when 9-11 hit, I ain't had no bills because they was all paid for. I mean, right. you had utilities and stuff like that, but right. I had no overhead. Right. And on that time, I, you probably had people call you. People that I thought had more money than me calling me, asking me for stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? But Because they was calling debt in the, in the bills they had. I made sure I don't have bills. You know what I'm saying? That's what rich broke is. It's just right. a lifestyle. It's like not living above your means because right. when stuff happened, like when this happened, I couldn't, I just started back working. I've been hurt for six months. Ain't no right. income coming in. Right. But I prepared myself for when nothing come in, when I don't need nobody. I mean, where I don't need nobody, you know what I'm saying? So that was just my whole way of thinking. You know, sometimes, Duval, is that what we have, what happens with celebrities and entertainers, athletes, is that you want the perception, you want to project. Yeah. And so you get things that you probably don't really need. Yeah. It's okay to have an SUV, or, but you don't need five. Yeah, yeah. It's okay to get mom a house, but your mom's house shouldn't be bigger than yours. Yeah. Get something mom can up yeah. that she can maintain, that you don't have to staff nah. for mom. Yeah, and you understand, when I buy stuff, it's for my family. Right. Everything I buy, when I buy, if I buy property, it's like, all right, we can get this for everybody. They can just come here and boom, 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 boom. It's either for my family or my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Everything I got when I pass is for my daughter. Right. But I mean, as far as You only have I, one child, right? Yeah, one child. It's, you don't want no more? Probably when I get like 70 or something. 70 to do what? What the hell you gonna do? I'm and gonna have, 70, you ain't finna do that. My granddaddy nothing. did it. My Bahamian granddaddy, he had a child. My, my, my um, auntie, my same age. Well, actually, I might be younger, older than her. Lil Duval. What? When you get to be 70, you ain't gonna do nothing but look at that woman. Bruh, it's, it's gonna, dog, think about it. We already let having babies in bowls. All I gotta do is say, hey, I want a boy. I just wanna have my namesake gone, going down. I just want that bloodline for you a You might as well get started. First of all, think about it right now. You're 45, right? Mm -hmm. And you broke up. Yeah. Now, you do really realize when you get 70, these injuries like take their toll. Let me, this, is, this is what I think. This is what I okay, see. Okay, let me tell you right. what, what you're thinking. And let because me tell you I, I was raised by old people. Mm -hmm. And the old people instill the most in, in me. You know what I'm saying? Old people do, they care about you more. Yeah. So I feel like that's when I'm going to be the most nurturing for a child. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like and, and I feel like yeah. I can give more. You can rock your grand, your grands and your great grands when you're 70. Yeah. But you're no, not going to do anything. I promise you, I, I think I can do it. 
I think I could do it. I think I could do it because I'm... I see adoption in your future. No, no, I'm telling you. See, I'm I'm little too. So my 70 ain't your 70. Yes, my 70 is 50. Little people live longer. You see what I'm saying? So if I'm going to be... I'll probably be like... If I'm 7 I'll probably be 6. That don't mean your faucet work. My faucet will work. <laughs> my dick still working. I was scared about that, bro. I ain't telling you. I was scared after this shit because it took me a while to... What? Because it took me a while to get, get back fucking again because... That, that surgery. <laughs> what surgery? You didn't have... I did have surgery. I'm talking about after my you accident. You have to have no surgery down there? Nigga, all this is... Like, all this is messed up now. So I didn't know, like, when I nut, you know, Lord, the Hammer, muscle you come from... This. Oh, we gotta cut. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you how far I could go, bruh. <laughs> bruh! I say, okay, I say go here, I go over here. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you make me feel cool, man. Like, I mean, you make me comfortable. I don't talk like this around people, man. I know you don't. You my uncle, nigga. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.